Hello, I'm M.M. Hoshaw, an award-winning children's author of the adventure fantasy Diami and the Gobi Crystal. Today, I'm going to tell you about Radella. Radella is Dukan, which means she has amazing abilities to change her appearance. If she wanted, she could have purple skin, green hair, and be athletic. She chose to be overweight and have pale skin, freckles, and ginger hair. She didn't want to appear bossy or better than anyone else. Rodella's the kind of friend everyone would like. She's caring and unafraid to speak her truth. In the backstory, when Rodella was very young, she was sent away to be trained as a sextant. When she and Diami meet, they each are beginning their first assignment. They quickly become best friends. She and Diami take turns helping each other when she's in need. A sextant is a guide. In the Dukan culture, everyone is encouraged to learn new things like working with crystals, healing, or playing a musical instrument. They go to the sextant who then communicates with magical beings like gnomes and nymphs to be their teachers. Sextant reminds others to follow the practice known as the way. Everyone lovingly shares their gifts with each other. They are lifelong learners. There's no competition. Every evening, the entire village gathers for a shared meal and music. There's no fear, uncertainty, or suffering. Every day is peaceful. In Diami and the Gobi Crystal, their world is turned upside down. Everyone is forced to dress, look, and act the same. People are shamed for having wild hair color and fanciful skin tones. Creative expression is punished. The essence of what it means to be Dukan is stripped away from the people. This reminds me of times where those in control destroyed statues and burned books, trying to erase culture and thought. There are many examples throughout history where conquerors overpowered natives and forced them to adapt to new ways. Many were forbidden from speaking their native tongue. Like Rodella's world, our world is changing. We are experiencing massive changes in government, education, medicine, and finance, to name a few. Natural disasters are forcing people to move to new lands. We could learn from Rodella and hold fast to what's most important, love, friendships, and our local communities. Where these exist, we won't fear the change. Together, we'll weather the world changes and create a peaceful world. And if we want, we could even live like the Dukan. Thank you.